In this video, you will learn how to dilute your Menapure. Menapure comes in 75 unit vials. In the box of Menapure, the manufacturer does provide you with five powder vials, five liquid vials, and five Q caps. Please note, your dose may be different than what is described within this video. For this video and its purposes, I will walk you through how to dilute one powder vial. The first thing you should do is clean off your surface area and make sure that your hands are cleaned and disinfected. You want to make sure that you open up your Menapure box by pulling back the tab and opening up its contents within. You will take out the vials, which are within a second box inside of the Menapure box. The vials are packaged in this fashion. You do see five liquid vials and five Menapure powder vials. For my dose of one powder vial in evening, I will need one powder vial. And I will also need one liquid vial. Within the box, you also receive a second box which is labeled Q-cap. The Q-cap device is what you will use to help facilitate the movement of liquid from one vial to the powder vial. You will need every evening one Q-cap device from within this box. Aside from the items within your box, you will also receive a three milliliter syringe that comes with a 22 one and a half inch needle attached to it. For the dilution of Menapure, you do not need to utilize the long needle provided on this syringe. The Q-cap will help you move the liquid from the liquid vial into your powder vial without using the long needle. You also will need a small tiny needle to proceed with your injection. The tiny needle is labeled 27G half inch. We will now open up all of our supplies. The liquid vial and your powder vial do come sealed with small caps on the tops. You will remove these caps in order to work with the vials. You can open up both vials at the same time by peeling off the caps. Once the caps are off of the vials, you will take an alcohol swab and clean and disinfect the top of your vials. One item to note is once your vials are open, from the mixing view, your vials will look similar. Please separate your liquid vial and your powder vial so you know what you're working with. Once your vials are cleaned, you can then take your Q-cap device and open it up. We are opening up the Q-cap by removing the seal on the Q-cap. We will now take our Q-cap in its plastic device and poke the top of our liquid vial. Once the Q-cap is on your liquid vial, you will remove the plastic that's around your Q-cap by pulling it right off. Your Q-cap has a little screw right on top and that's where we are screwing on our syringe. The vial of liquid, it is important to note that they do give you two milliliters of liquid. The, you might not be using all two milliliters to create your dilution. In order to dilute one powder vial, I am going to use one milliliter of liquid. I will now take my syringe out of its packaging Since we are not using our long needle to create our Menapure mixture, we will remove it. Needles work like screws, so we are twisting off the long needle from the syringe and we are taking it and putting it immediately into our disposal container. Please note, if your syringe did not come with a needle attached, you can skip that step. Our syringe is a three milliliter syringe and we are only using one milliliter out of the liquid vial. This means that I first need to put one milliliter of air into my syringe in order to adequately withdraw the one milliliter of liquid from the vial. I am now pulling down on the plunger until the black first 
thick line of the plunger aligns itself next to the one. We are now going to attach our syringe to our Q-cap by screwing it right on, making sure that our syringe is screwed on nice and tight. You always want to make sure that your connection pieces are nicely secured because if they are not, you will lose medication within your connection piece. You want to make sure you next push in the air. That has created enough pressure which will allow the fluid to drip out of the vial. In order for this fluid to come out of the vial, you will invert this vial to the ceiling and then release your plunger and you will notice that the water starts coiling in on its own. This will do most of the work for you. What we need to do next is to make sure that our syringe is adequately filled with one milliliter of water. What we are going to do is we are going to pull down further than the one and we will push back up to the one line to adequately fill that syringe. If your syringe is not adequately filled, please do not be scared of this step and you can actually push everything back in and start over until you adequately fill your syringe to the one milliliter line. Once your syringe is full of one milliliter, you no longer need this liquid vial. It does have extra, so you will throw out this liquid vial that's on top. In order to remove the liquid vial off of the Q-cap, you will hold on tight to your syringe in the middle, grab the liquid vial, and pull straight off. Once the vial is off, you are now going to take this one milliliter and push this into your powder vial. Once the powder vial is connected, we are going to push in the liquid. The powder vial mixes instantaneously. There is no shaking involved. There's no agitation that you have to do. Once you are done with pushing in this liquid, you will invert the vial and draw out all of its contents. You will still have that one milliliter of fluid, which is now mixture. Since one powder vial is my dose, I am now ready to inject this. If your dose is different and you require more powder vials, please continue diluting all of your powder vials with this mixture and then proceed with injecting. We are now going to remove the Q-cap and the empty powder vial, which is now in my syringe, and we will put on our tiny needle. Our tiny needle will open up and we will attach it onto our syringe by screwing it on like a little screw, making sure once again that our connections are nice and secure. Before injecting this medication, you do have to get rid of all of the air bubbles within your syringe. In order to remove the air bubbles, you will flick your syringe to make sure any air bubbles rise to the top. And then you will also push the plunger very lightly until you see the first drop come out of the needle. Once you have completed those steps, you are ready to inject. And first step is to remove the cap that's on the needle. We are then going to hold our syringe like a pen. Do not touch the plunger until you are ready to actually push the medication inside. You will clean the skin with alcohol, making sure that the entire area is disinfected. Once you have cleaned with alcohol, you will then pinch the skin, creating a bubble, and you will inject right into that bubble at a 90 degree angle. Whole needle goes under the skin. You will release the pinch of the skin and you will push down on the plunger to push all the medication inside. Once all of your medication is inside, you will remove your syringe and dispose of it immediately into your red container.